happy prime day everybody good morning let me know if i'm coming through loud and clear i think i am audio yep all right good morning john richard arsenal he's just here for the smsl fanboys let's do some quick shout outs Where's everybody from? What do we got in here? We already got 66 people in here. Yay. I think we had um, oh, 105. All right. Hey, if you can like the video or like the live stream, please. All right. Omaha. JD Comics. The great state of Nebraska. Phoenix. Wait a minute. Whoa. We got Texas. We got two England. 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 Awesome. Cummings, Georgia. Uh, Punta. Gorda. Here. Look at those dreadlocks. Steve Zeidman. Florida. Texas. Man. We're rolling. Michigan. Roll Tide. Denver. Very good. Very good. Naples, Florida, far west, Illinois. Um, so we've already got 192 people in here, which is awesome. So in the description below, I put a bunch of links. The first link is just a generic Amazon link. And if you'd like to support the channel, if you just click on that and then do any of your shopping today, it's going to really help out the channel. We got a ton of awesome deals to go through today some of which are already in my cart. Andy Anderson, my boy. I even uh we got the uh we got the Stanley coffee mug. We're packing a lunch today. It's like my grandpa's coffee mug. Got some dents in it. Look at that. All right. Sorry about that. Another Michigan. Whoa, my goodness. Lincoln, California, New Jersey, Gainesville, Columbia, California. 560S is on sale. Orlando. I'm going to be down there in a couple of weeks. Rio Grande. New Brunf. New Bruns. I've never been able to say that. New Braunfels. There we go. Ottawa. Uh, New Jersey. Timo looking happy. Idaho. Buffalo, New York. All right. All right. Redding, California. North Carolina. Sorry about that. Okay. Y'all want to get started? Let's get started. So let me put, let me star this if you want to help out the channel. Man, <laughs> I got so many links. So I woke up this morning at like seven and just started putting links in here. Link after link after link after link. All right, we'll go Prime Day. We'll do that. We'll do that. All right, so these should be in the description already. I'm going to put this one right here. I don't know, star that one. I don't know how the star works because I'm not actually on, um, I'm not on YouTube. I'm streaming through a different thing. So let's get started. Topping LA90D is under $600. We got to add that one to the list. All right, here we go. I'm going to share my screen. Prime Day. Let's go through the list. This is in no particular order because I just started adding things. Um, and some of the good stuff is all the way at the bottom. So also we're getting really close to 186,000 subscribers. So I would like to get to 200,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You can always come back later and unsubscribe happens all the time all right 
if you are after some powered speakers, the Q Acoustics M20 down to 374.99. I had these in, and if you know anything about Q, Q makes some very good products. I'm not like a giant fan of powered speakers, and these are fairly, um, I wouldn't say thin, but they're thin. <laughs> so you want to you make sure that you add a, uh, a subwoofer to these. All right. So that is number one. Like I said, um, all of the links are in the, in the description. The 3020s, I've had these in for review. This was an early review that I did. At $150, these are a crazy deal. And I I should be talking about these more because it looks like the regular price is only $199. I don't know why I don't talk about this speaker more. It's an older speaker, so it's been replaced by the 3020i. But as it's got a great enclosure very neutral speaker 150 bucks for these is bananas and i talk about these sony's i talk about the elac bs41s i talk about a lot of speakers and for whatever reason i forget to talk about these and they are outstanding outstanding um joe harrington recently got a fluence rt81 and i have an iema dac a2 and TV10D into a TSI100. You need to put the turntable away from the desktop, long wire or Bluetooth temporarily. Uh, which phono preamp? Thanks in advance. Um, it depends on like how much resolution you want to get out. I would personally probably go with a longer cable. That's what I would do. Uh, phono preamp, which there should be some on here. Let's go to... If you're on a really tight budget, I would get I would get this one. It's got a couple of tubes in it. It's on uh, Prime Day right now. Fifty six dollars. You can't really beat it. I will see if there is. The iFi Zen Phono, which is really awesome. If that one's on sale and you've got the budget for it, it's incredible. I doubt it, though. iFi doesn't really like to have fun, so they don't put stuff on sale. iFi Zen Phono. iFi is one of those companies that I, I, I love to hate and hate to love. No, it's not on sale. 199 it's incredible though it's a great great phono amp whoops all right let's go over to our friends at emotiva now um this is obviously not prime related but they have been doing crazy crazy kind of closeouts on their air motive line and i do i need to pick up this center channel but so like we got T zeros for 350. If you want Atmos speakers, 180. And these represent like almost a 50% um, discount. This is probably the one I'm going to get, the C1 Plus. But right here is, are the really big deals. So these T1 Pluses right here at 499 is legitimately a crazy price. T2 Plus, which are huge. $700. I think those used to be a thousand dollars. B2 plus three fifty nine. Those used to be five fifty. Um, the star of the show though, is the B1 plus at two seventy nine, And I have a, um, a link to Emotiva down in the description. I'll put it right here though, too. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. I already did it. Come on. All right there copy paste 
return. So if you're after any Emotiva stuff, probably the best speaker deals going on. I wouldn't say probably. I would say the best speaker deals going on right now. And I don't know how long those are going to last. So hopefully a long time. Well, they're probably going to last till the air motives are gone. Yes, Wing Pro. Let's take a look at that. All right, so we're going to go down the list here. Uh, we're going to get to the Wing Pro for sure. Bozzy Audio, TB10D, $63. <laughs> That's kind of ironic because usually it's $80 with a $20 off coupon. So <laughs> Bozzy is actually increase their prices by three dollars for prime day all right um let's go to the bt20a and see if that's actually a deal uh we got eighty dollars so yep the funny thing is though like these are pretty much the same prices as what they usually have so this is not like anything new even though it's prime day it says lowest in 30 days maybe that's because they're not using um coupons all right still great price let's go to the v3 uh 71 dollars. okay so this i think is a deal i think this is a really good deal because i think this was 80 dollars, and that was with a coupon so the v3 for 72 dollars, this is an amplifier that has no business sounding as good as it sounds. Um, I don't know if you can get the, I don't think you can add on the 48 volt power supply. Anyway, this is um, truly spectacular deal. Um, and if um, I miss a super chat, start hammering me in the comments that I missed a super chat because I don't want to miss anything because I'm looking at the, looking at the screens. We got the United States of Analog in here. KLH deal is tempting. Is KLH running a deal on Amazon? KLH speakers. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. I got the Model 3s. I've never heard the Model 3s, though. I like the Model 5s. Only one left in stock. Okay, here we go. Nine ninety nine. Is that for a pair? Oh, that's Model Threes again. I can't vouch for the Model Threes because I've never heard them. Model Fives, though, I can vouch for. Uh, with the forty eight volt, can the V three power magnet pans? I don't know. I can't answer that question. Um, that wouldn't be my first choice to power something like the magnet pants i would usually go with some really hefty class ab just for the current capabilities i don't know if the fozzy i mean the fozzy sounds great i don't know if it's going to have i don't know the ca capacitance to be able to really drive the magnet pants but i have no idea because i i've never actually had the magnet pants in so i couldn't say one way or the other All right, what else do we got? All right, that was the V3. Uh, Sony SSCS5s. Down to 123. Not a bad deal. Not the best deal. And I don't know if this is a wait till tomorrow or if it is a get it while you can because this is going to go up to $200. These have been staying consistently at $200 for a while, which is absurd. But 123 is a price I can get behind for sure on these speakers. 150 is even a price I can get behind. The thing about it is though, I really, really, really want this thing to go down to um, $80. Cause that's like, that's how this speaker got on the map is by going down to uh, the $80 price. Hold on. I got to check something. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Very good. We'll go back. We'll go back. We'll go back. All right. I'm going to share my screen again. Exciting stuff, isn't it? Okay. So we got $123. Very good. It's not great. It's very good. Still worth it. SSCS5 versus uh, S3. I don't know the S3, which is a better deal. I don't know that. I don't know what the S3 is. All right. Bob just got the Wean Pro. You're darn right you did. It's awesome. <laughs> Bob is live on the radio right now when I'm watching this breaking news. Come on, Bob. Do your job. You know what the you know what the boss is tuning in and, and hearing you. Um, hopefully you're not talking about Prime Day. All right. We have the Aima A07 Pro. Okay. So this is kind of like the BT20 Pro. So they're about the same price. I was told by Aima that they just, that everything after January of this year has upgraded um, heat dissipation. I do have a new one in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them apart. Regardless of that, this is still a great sounding amplifier. Um, tone controls, Bluetooth. Eh, I don't really care about Bluetooth. I don't even install the antennas usually, the aerials on this. It's got some toggle switches on the front. So... It's a good, it's a well-built, well-built unit. You can roll the op amps, all that good stuff. $80. So equivalent to the BT20A. So kind of, it's kind of where you want to spend your money. Do you want to spend it with Fozzie or do you want to spend it with Aima? I got an interesting comment yesterday about whether Fozzie and Aima are the same company. And they're not. And they're actually very competitive. So... It's interesting, like Aima and Fozzy are, are really duking it out. <laughs> no pun intended, because there's a company called Duke Audio. Anyway, they're really duking it out um, in this low-end, uh, but very good-sounding hi-fi. So, yeah. Oh, I got a, a super chat. Whoops. Over 400 watching, but barely 100 likes so far. Come on, peeps, hit that button. Yes, please, hit the like button. Please, please, let's do a countdown, all right? So, Karsten, take a look at how many likes we have right now, and then we'll do a 10-second countdown, and we'll see how many likes we can increase it, all right? 10, 9, like the video, 8, please like this live stream, 7, please like the live stream, 6, 5, please like the live stream, 4, 3, 2, and one like the live stream so carson tell me how many we gained in 10 seconds uh q acoustics 3020 selling for around 150 good speaker e excellent speaker that was the first speaker i talked about excellent 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 speaker um and i need to be talking about it more because it looks like the regular price on that thing is only um is only 199. So yeah, it's older, but it's a speaker that I bought um early on in the channel when I was buying everything, I bought this speaker. Um it's very good. I mean, if you want to like have a crin cringe worthy video, you can go and watch my my original review of this. Cringy. So I don't I don't know if I'd recommend it, but I do have a video on the 3020s. It's uh, way, 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 uh, way back. Probably one of my first 10 videos was this video. All right, Karsten, how many did we get? How many likes do we get? How many likes are we at right now? I think you said 140, 100 or so. Somebody tell me how many likes we have. Hey, from the UK, Randy, always watch and love the channel. Thanks, Ben. We got some, a uh, lot of folks in from the UK. Uh, 
Well done. Oh, 278. Oh, very nice. Awesome. Um, I have a set of SSCS fives, and my dad has the SSCS threes. The S five sound much better than the S threes. I think the S threes are not as exciting detailed. Are the S threes the um, floor standards? Uh, I can't remember. If they are, I agree with you one hundred percent. And the floor standards actually have different drivers. They look identical, but I pulled apart um, them. I actually sent them. I think I sent them back. Because I got really excited when I bought the floor standers. And um, they don't sound nearly as good as the, as the fives. So if the threes are the floor standers, then you are absolutely right. I got James here from the UK also. Very nice. All these links are in the description right now. And if you want to support the channel, there is just a generic Amazon link at the top of the description. If you click on that and then do any of your shopping, it will really support the channel um, and help me out a lot. All right. So we got the Sony's. We did the AO7 Pro. Our friends at Weem. By the way, this video is sponsored by Weem and by Fozzy Audio. Weem probably, not probably, has the absolute best piece of hi-fi you can get at for the price. So $78.99, you're getting Apple AirPlay 2, you're getting Bluetooth, but you don't need to worry about any of those because you have a fully functioning streamer. I think either the Weem Pro, I think maybe the Weem Mini, but I can say for sure the Weem Pro is now a rune-ready device. You have a 10-band EQ. You actually have an analog input if you want to use this as a little preamp. We're going to get to the Weem Pro here secondly. But for $78, you can't buy a Bluetooth. You can't buy a crappy Bluetooth receiver for $78.99. This thing has revolutionized and been a market disruptor when it comes to audio streaming. No kidding. So I think this was product of the year one year, maybe last year when it came out. Absolutely, 100%. Shockingly awesome. If you're not into streaming, you should get this. Now, it has an internal internal DAC. It's not the best internal DAC, but for $78 to get streaming, to get that, that good of a software platform, we cannot be choosy about the DAC and complain about the DACs. So it's not great, but... But um, it's good enough. Good enough. Hey, my wife is unhappy with you. How about the nines? Oh, she's not going to be unhappy when she hears the nines. Those are so much fun, man. The nines are awesome. Uh, Todd T picked up a Ween Pro remote for 127 since it's now ruined. Ready. I know what you're saying, Todd. Uh, actually, let's go over to the... Uh, where is it? Wee Mini. I got the Wee Pro in here somewhere. Here. Let's just go Wee Pro. Under nineteen bucks. Um, this is the this is the deal right here. Now, if you can't like afford one hundred and twenty bucks, get the get the Mini. But this thing is really a great, is basically a preamp. So you can bring in full-size analog input. You can, and it looks like this has a mic, so you can actually use A-L-E-X-A -E to play your music. This does Chromecast and Apple AirPlay too. So then you have a line out for the internal DAC. You have an optical in... So, like, you could put this by your TV. You could run your TV through it. Optical out, coaxial in, trigger out. So you can actually turn on an amp with this thing. And then hardwired um, internet in. This is absolutely bananas for the price. This rivals, like, there's nothing wrong with blue sound. I like blue sound. But I don't know why anybody would buy a blue sound node over something like this. Maybe if they were going to use just the internal DAC, but 
you could take this at $120 and add a really good DAC from like Gishelli Labs. Uh, you know, you can add a $300 DAC and still come in a lot lower. You could add a $400 DAC and still come in lower than what a Blue Sound node costs. It's bananas that this is $120. Um, and if you're at all interested in streaming music, please jump all over this and then return it if you don't like it. That's the cool thing about Amazon is you can return it. They also have a Weem remote, which I wasn't even aware of until one of my awesome patrons, Steve, mentioned it. Here we go. And it's also on sale for $16. So yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome deal. So it's like getting a free remote. It's actually, yeah. So it's, yeah, it's like getting a free remote. Anyway, good stuff. All right. Let's answer some questions. All right. We can pro use the same deck as the mini Burr Brown. There you go. Well, um, they sound okay. Not the most um, detailed sounding deck, but I like Burr Brown decks. Have two Ween Pros never had connection issues in six months. Months. Rock solid. I've never had connection issues either. I've got three of them. Actually, I've got five of them because I have two minis um, and three pros amazing amazing this live stream is also sponsored by fozzy audio so tb10d is a product that at 60 dollars can get you into hi-fi the bt20a pro is an amazing product which you can which has tone controls also has bluetooth and then the star of the star of fozzy audio's show right now is the v3 which is a 3255 amp chip set with great heat dissipation, which means this thing can play louder, longer, and it's $72 right now. And you can get up to a 48 volt 10 amp power supply. Fozzy sells a 48 volt 5 amp power supply, but I don't know where you can get that. Some places you can like order it with it like put it together but anyway yeah Ooh, svs has some outlet deals also very nice i'll put that in the um in the description after this is over the remote takes advantage of weems bluetooth so you don't need line of sight to use it so glad they added it very cool i was talking to um i was talking to steve about that and he was telling me he didn't know how it worked, but he thought it worked off of Wi-Fi or something else. Uh, so that's good to know. All right. SU1, $70. That's right. $70.99. $39. So the typical price on this is $79.99. Um, and it's, a, it's an amazing deck. It's about the size of a, a deck of cards. Um, a little bit deeper than a deck of cards, though. But this thing is really spectacular and i think it actually sounds better than m most 44 uh, akm 4493 s chipset decks it's crazy but if you get it just get it from amazon or f through apos because um i had one now i granted there's probably been hundreds of these things sold because of my video or whatever videos about it but if you get it get it through amazon or get it through uh, apos audio so if you have any reason to return it, um, it's going to be a lot smoother because I had a uh, patron buy directly from China and I wouldn't say they're giving them the runaround, but they're making them send it, send it back. So, um, and then they get to d determine whether or not there's an issue with it. So, yeah. All right. It's a good question. Uh, with the SMSL SU1 and Wean Pro be a good combo. Very good. Yes, very good combo. Be an excellent combo. Headed to Dallas today. Can you get the heat turned down? 
I'll try. I, j I legit don't go outside. <laughs> SU1 not shipping for a little bit. Uh, yeah. Well, I think it's a very popular product. Um, so probably um, sold out of stock. Let's see if there's another. Let's see if there's another retail retailer selling it besides Shenzhen Audio. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look like it. I don't even see the SU one show up. Maybe they pulled it from the search results because they're out of stock. Oh, here's another one. Uh, so I just did this uh, video. And let me tell you, this thing is not perfect by any means. Um, but if you're looking for something for like a soundbar replacement, this can't be beat, especially at 120 bucks. It's actually got a decent little app that you can control mid-range, has a bass boost, which is not great. But with all its warts, this is actually a really good product. And at $120, it's an insane product. Uh, you just hook up a subwoofer and two speakers to it. And it's got a phono preamp. It's got all sorts of stuff. Again, doesn't sound great, but with the app, you can kind of dial it in to make it sound decent. So, yeah, this is a wonderful soundbar replacement. And uh, at $120, it's kind of a no-brainer. Have, like, reasonable expectations, though. If you buy this, uh, this is the Aurelic B50 uh, links down at this uh, in the description, or you can just click on the generic Amazon link on top. And that really helps out the channel. I need to find the SU one search SU dash one. I have the link right here. So I'll just pop it up. SU one. All right. So let's search. S M S L S U dash one. It's still oh, there's one. Um, it looks like maybe this is just being sold through Shenzhen, or they're the ones that have stock of it. I mean, we're we're already in the middle part of July. This. Summer is going crazy fast, which is not a bad thing because I'm ready for the kids to get back in school. Morning, Cam. Wow, that's a weird profile picture. Uh, morning, Randy. Which do you like more, SVS Prime Bookshelf or the Airmotive B2s? Ooh, this is a great question. This came up last time too. Um, that's a tough question because I personally like the B2s from emotiva but that this is purely personal preference here um i just like that um the airy ribbon tweeter sound or amt tweeter paul thank you you're filling my soul with happiness right now thank you so much but the prime bookshelves i've got a pair right back there six and a half inch i think you're gonna play a little bit louder have a little bit more kick on the bottom but the b1 plus is for me at their price like they kind of really set the standard and i think the like prime bookshelves from svs they've got to be coming in at for a pair they're probably coming in at maybe 500 bucks svs prime Shelf. So I think let's see. Is it 300 for a pair or 300 each? Yeah, it says speaker. So I mean the the deal is with the emotivas if this is for just a single yeah i mean you can get a pair of the 
the B2 plus is for cheaper than one, one speaker. I think they're sold as singles. Yeah. Barry says, um, they're great. I love mine. I love mine, but I mean, the emotive is the better deal. Uh, SMSL D six for one forty four. Let's check that out. SMSL D six. You know, I got this new chair and it squeaks. And that was a problem with my old chair too, is it squeaks. This may have been, let's see what chipset. Yep. Okay. So this is the one that I made a joke about where the 4493S, the S stands for siblings. This is the one where the SU1 at half the price actually sounds better than the D6. Um, I couldn't remember which one I was talking about, but yeah, this is the one. So I would recommend the SU1 over the D6. Um, yes. Final answer. All right. Got 572 people in here. That's awesome. I love you. I love all of you. Thank you so much. If you can like this, like it. Let's get it out to so many, as many people as we can. All right. We got the T9 Pro heavy discount down to $135. This is usually, whoops, this is usually about $160, if not $170. So $135. And then it looks like there's an additional 5% off coupon. So you're going to save another $7 and, I don't know, 60 cents, which puts this under $130. It is a bit of an ugly duckling, but it is also kind of charming in how ugly it is. It's going to be limited to a 24-volt power supply. Uh, oh, 32-volt. I'm wrong. Uh, so it's limited to a 32-volt power supply. It's going to play... Um, with most speakers. I mean, unless it's incredibly hard to drive. So you got some tubes on top, decent little remote control. Um, very good all-in-one. Um, if you don't need like a phono preamp or anything like that, um, I think this sounds way better than the Aurelic. Uh, the Aurelic has some other options. But the one thing that Aurelic has that this doesn't is the mid-range tone controls. So, um, but if you're just looking for a two channel setup and you want it small, it's, it's really spectacular for 135 bucks. Steve Zeidman, 999, just cause Randy bought the pro. I wanted the coax input. Very nice. I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. It's coffee time. Ooh, did you hear that? Coffee time. If you, you're drinking coffee right now, go get another cup. Let's take a little break. I'm going to see if I can like not burn my lap. Here, hold on. Y'all need to hear this. Isn't that nice? All right. Ooh, hot coffee. I feel like my grandpa when I drink out of this, which is awesome. My grandfather walked across Europe during World War, World War II. He was in the Army. And then he came back um, to the family farm in Nebraska. And he used to carry one of these to work every day. It's one tough cookie. Super nice, though. He'd always have candy bars for us. Like, me and my brother would be out there, and I was young, because he died when I was, like, I don't know, young, like maybe, like, eight or nine. And he'd always have candy bars, like the full-size big candy bars. He drove a yellow Ford Courier, which is, a, which is like those comically small pickup trucks. Um, it was a... Uh, think of four speed my brother and i got into it and we'd be playing around with it and then we'd take it out of gear and the whole thing would like 
roll back <laughs> we'd be freaking out the thing was like made out of metal like the entire dash was made out of metal i remember the glove box had this really heavy duty switch i mean it was a tiny pickup but it was made um it's like bulletproof how that thing was made you could probably like i could probably pick up pick it up and just inch it over like if i had two people we could definitely pick up the back of that um jd got the iema t9 pro last week for about ten dollars more worth it paired with ween pro and audio engine yep great that's a great pairing you could get the uh the ween pro hook it right into that um and be rocking and rolling hey deals on wireless headphones absolutely and this is one okay remember we're at t9 pro because i'm going to go down the list this is one that i'm pulling the trigger on this year it is the um hold on i gotta bring this up let's see where is it i thought i put it in here they're the sony's i was almost positive i put it in here i think i must have put it in the link in the description of the um of the video but here i'll just search it up and then i'll put the link in here sony wireless headphones um so I'll put this link here. So I'll show you the ones that I'm getting. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Um, so I'll show you the ones that I'm getting. God bless America. All right, here we go. I'm getting these. Now, these are a bit of the older generation. So this is one generation old. The 1000XM5s are the latest. And they're on sale, but they're only on sale. They're from 400 down to 350 I believe. Actually, 328 oh, Now I got a decision to make. Um, if I want to spend the extra... $78 to get these. Anywho, I had the 1000 and I either had the XM2s or the XM3s. And this was before the channel started. And out of the box, they sound way overblown and overbaked on the base. But they have an incredible app so you can kind of dial in the sound exactly the way you want it to and um so that's what i did but the air or the noise canceling is spectacular the bluetooth spectacular i mean they have like spatial audio it's great like sony i think sony is now better than bose i think bose was on top i think sony is now on top however there's another one that um is kind of the budget version of all this. I don't know. Oh, maybe it's up here. Here we go. Yep, I got it up here. Never mind. There's another more affordable option, which is Soundcore. And Soundcore is a legitimate contender for these noise canceling things, um, headphones. They're actually sold at Walmart now in the store. Sound core. And I have, I've had three different pairs of sound core. And I still use them daily. And we're getting some super chats. So I'm going to put this one in here real quick. And then we're going to do super chats. Okay. So if you have the budget, I would get Sony's if you want over ears. Um, I don't think Sony does the wireless IEMs or in-ears as well as Soundcore does. So if you want in-ear wireless noise canceling, I would get Soundcore. If you want over-ears, I would get Sony. But Soundcore also has some very affordable over-ears, but their over-ears I don't think are as good as their in-ears, if that makes sense. All right. Bob says, forgot to use your affiliate link this morning. My bad. It's all right, Bob. 
you're making up for it now with the super chat. Thank you. Hope this covers it. I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure it will. Thanks to you and the amazing community you've built with your bare hands. Bob, thank you. If um, if you're not subscribed to Bob's channel, it's called the United States of Analog. It's a great channel. Bob's a great guy. Bob's a pro. He's been in radio for um, decades in the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. Um, he's a great guy. Love him. Love Bob. There's few people that I drive cross country with. That's kind of my litmus test for how much I like a person. Would I drive across the country with this person? I would drive across the country with Bob. Uh, looking for the best sub $300. Oh, best sub $300 DAC. Awesome to be here and watching the hunt. Um, if you don't need volume control, the best sub $300 DAC, without a doubt, is the Shelly Labs AKM J2. You're not going to get a USB with it, though. If you want a USB, it's going to be right at $300. So $250 without the USB. 300 uh with the usb um they are back ordered um but they're close to getting back out of the back order so this is absolutely the best stack under 300 uh if you don't need volume control so i think they're running two weeks on the aluminum six weeks on the wood all the wood cases are actually made in-house by gino's dad um but if you want an aluminum case you can uh get that i would get the uh all of them are great but the akm is a little bit um i think is a little bit beefier on the bottom end now you can also get and this is what I would do if I was buying one, I would actually get the socketed version. And the socketed version basically means you can swap out the op amps um, if you want to. And so if you go no USB and an aluminum case, you're coming in at 270. If you want a USB, it's adding 50 bucks. So that's the best DAC under $300, um, bar none. Now, if you need volume control... Let's see. I think I had. Let's see what the SU9 is. Okay. If you can squeeze 40 bucks, this SU9 is a great deck. And lowest price in 30 days. I think that, yeah, it used to be a $400 deck. Even at $400, it was worth it. So this is a really good deck. No MQA. So it lowers the price. Um, really, really good sounding deck. Not going to have as much punch on the bottom as the J2, but still very good, very airy, very yummy, very awesome. And thank you so much, John, for the super chat. Whew, boy. Oh, lots of Prime Day deals on best team subs input. Stay as far away from best best to zan subs i think they sent me one and it was i could pick it up with one hand out of the box let me see if that's the one um i could legitimately pick it up it was a smaller one i i i don't think so if you want a cheap sub, this is the one. <laughs> this is the one right here. So I could legit pick this up with one hand, pull it out. It was so, the enclosure was so bad, it sounded like someone dropped a woofer in a five-gallon bucket and didn't, like, attach it to anything. Just attach the leads into a, a woofer in a five-gallon bucket, and that's what it sounded like. Um if I turned it all the way down to where I could barely hear any bass, then it was okay. Um, if you're after a cheap sub, I would look at a mono mono price sub. I had this 60, 60 watt one at work 
it only goes down to like 50 hertz but it was still good for what i was using it for at work um that's what i would that's what i would get in lieu of like one of those best to say the the um like i cannot describe like how bad the best to say sub was like it's an embarrassment like how somebody could put a product like that out there it was so i just legitimately threw it away like it was one of those products that was so bad like i didn't feel right about giving it to somebody <laughs> so I, I i'm probably beating a dead horse at this point but um yeah run don't walk from best of sand subs oh by the way i should have i should have done this earlier so i'm gonna put my um my coffee mugs on sale today too probably to the point where i'm like making no money off of them so i, I should have done this earlier but anyway yeah, i'm gonna put my coffee mugs on sale it's best to say bestie and sex it, 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 like there has been only a few products that legitimately i just thought were terrible most products are good and most products maybe have something to offer to a specific person as far as like what their flavor is there's been two products one was this sub the other and i love yamaha as a company but the other was was this speaker right here. This is the the worst speaker I've ever heard, with the exception of maybe the Amazon Basics um, powered speaker. This is legitimately the worst speaker I've ever heard. For that huge woofer it makes zero bass it's all mid-range um terrible <laughs> so that and the best bestie and sub are tied for the worst worst products i've ever heard all right one more and then we'll get back to it randy if i buy a weem a mini or pro and the su1 how does that work for the built-in DAC on the weem does it bypass it so what you'll do mike is in the settings on the Weem Mini or Weem Pro, there is a or audio output. And so what you'll do is you'll switch the audio output to optical or coaxial if you want to on the Weem Pro. And um, that's it. Then you just hook it up to the DAC. Then you hook your DAC up to the system. So you'll just switch the output from... It's called line. So line output is their analog output and they are weem so you switch it to optical or coaxial plug that into your dac then dac into your system and that's how you do it that's a good question all right where were we at um, oh the 30 the q acoustics 3020i are also on sale for 336 dollars um, another great speaker. My go-to speaker has become the 5020s. And so that's a step up from the 3020 series or the 3000 series. And I love them. The 5020 reminds me of the 3020, except with a little bit more dynamics, which it should, right? It's significantly more expensive, three times more expensive. Um, it's around eight or $900. But the 3020 is a very composed, um, great speaker. The enclosure construction is ridiculous. So you get great instrument separation, especially in the mid-range. So vocals, acoustic guitars, instruments are really separated out in space. It's a very good speaker at $336. What is the normal price? So that's one, that, this one's really on sale. Uh, so 25% off, I think, what is that, 450 so down from 450 to 336. Excellent. Excellente. OSD site has sub sales. Very cool. I talked to them at a trade show. They were going to send me some stuff, but they never did. 
Local guys, a mint 10 inch clips powered sub for 35 bucks. There you go. Jump on it. Uh, for cheap, good sub. Polk Audio PS 10 inch subwoofer. $149. Those actually go on sale. I have two of them. They're in my son's bedroom. Personally, like, they're not for me anymore. But when I first got out, uh, first got into this, and they'll go on sale at one point, they went on sale down to $99. Uh, but yes, it's a decent uh, 10 inch ported subwoofer um, for under a couple hundred bucks. Not going to be like the lowest sub, not going to be the cleanest, but for especially when I bought them at $99, kind of a no brainer. Speaking of which, Sony actually has in their core series, they actually have a subwoofer and those generally go on sale. Whoops. On days like this. All right. We got the clips. Look at a wireless subwoofer. Sony. No, these aren't the ones I'm looking for. It's just a regular. Here it is right here. What? Oh, that's a Sony. Yeah, they're not on sale. Oh, never mind. Here it is. So this is a good deal. I think this goes down to 29 hertz. So this is a legit decent deal for a subwoofer. Let me put this in the chat. Let me know if I have. Whoa. Jeepers. An error occurred. Wait for a moment. I hope I'm still going. Hey, somebody put a. There we go. All right. So this is a legit, pretty decent um, sub for the price. If you're looking for other subs too that are like be reasonable though, uh, Yamo, and they're not even running like they're not even running sales on these, but just their regular pricing is really good on these little Yamo subs. There we go. So I'll put that one in here too. All right, let's see if I missed any super chats. Um, Yamaha subs. JBL, the Stage Series, they also make some good subs. Lots of Prime Day deals on... Be okay, yeah, we already did that one. Uh, let me see if JBL... But JBL generally stays off of, of uh, Amazon, and they usually run all of their sales through their own website, JBL subwoofer. Anyway, there's just this beastly old school, heavy duty um, sub and it's in their stage series. And they, Oh no, it's right here. Oh, coming from Crutchfield. Speaking of which, we're going to go to Crutchfield here in a second. Anyway, this one will go on sale. I believe much lower than that and it's it's just a, a beast and nobody talks about it which but they should because this stage series is really good and they go on sale a lot actually let's go over to crutchfield and see i know i have a crutchfield link in here somewhere and if i miss a super chat you guys hammer me and tell me that i missed it crutchfield sales Uh, again, all these links are in the description. So if you want to support the channel, please use them. And they're all affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you anymore. So it's an awesome way to support the channel and bring more content uh, to you. All right, let's see what they have. So they have kind of the same deals as Amazon does. All 
Focal. Focal's on sale. $440. I love it when stuff goes on sale for like 50% off. Because it's like, what kind of margins do they have in there to be able to do this? Because then they go back up on sale. Anyway, like Focal, Calypso does this. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> big big sales on, on Focal. Um, let's see. Wireless. Uh, let's see receivers. Let's see what they have for receivers. All right, Denon, $300 off, $800. Yamaha's $100 off. There's a Marantz on, um, on uh, oh, this is $400 off. If this is the one that has Dirac, this is a heck of a deal. Sorry, I have my camera right in front of this. Dolby Atmos. Direct live. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is a crazy good deal. If this has preamp outs on all the channels, then okay. This one does not have preamp outs on all the channels. There's another one that has preamp outs and it's bananas. Let's see if we can find that one and let's see if that one's on sale. So that's an NR7100. Mm -hmm. um i like this one a lot i like the slim line this is the generation back so this is the 1510 another good one all right let's see let's see if we can find onkyo onkyo Home theater receiver. I want to find the Dirac that has, or I want to find the Ankyo receiver that has Dirac. Maybe it's this one. All right, we got some super chats. I'm going to get to them here in a second. Yes. Okay, this is the one. And I, and I know this is expensive, but what you have to understand is. This thing is basically like it's a receiver already, but you can also use this as a straight up processor. So if you ever want to put um, like if you ever want to put a beefier amplifier on it or something, then you can. And I know this is expensive, but like Dirac is a game changer. Having preamps for outs for all your channel is also a game changer. So this is something that you could get and this could last for a while. The only problem with like home theater receivers is the technology changes fairly quickly, but I would imagine that this is going to last for a long time. Uh, Hoke, $5. Thank you very much. Any killer AV under 2K or best to part out amp preamp DAC. What funny. Here we go. Separately with Skit. Looking at Anthem Marantz NAD currently. Wife wants easy remote. Oh, well, <laughs> that's going to be a problem because anytime you throw something like this into the chain, you have some problems. But this is probably the best deal under 2K. Unless you want to go to Emotiva and get the MR1, which is the best sounding home theater receiver that I've heard with a caveat that the interface, the GUI is very antiquated looking and it's a little bit hard, harder to kind of figure out the menu system. If you're coming from something like a Marantz or a pioneer, but this legit sounds like a two-channel amplifier when it comes to music and stuff. So it's a beast. It's a beast. It's got a toroidal transformer on it the size of my head. So this is spectacular sounding. But you got to go into it with the expectation of this is going to be a little bit, you know, it's going to look old. <laughs> with the, It's going to look 8-bit. 
but yeah, you know, who cares because you're not in the menus that often. Also has trims on the remote control. Look at that <laughs> toroid. Um, so if you look at the remote control, and the remote control is not like um, here. I'm gonna I'm gonna move, take off your comment here so we can see it. So if you look at the remote control right here and here. So that's C plus, C minus. So that's center channel. So on the fly, you can basically adjust your front, center, rear channels. I don't think you can adjust the fronts. I think it's just height, center. Anyway, on the fly, you can do that, which is super useful because not everything is mixed the same when it comes to uh, television and movies. I found that super useful because you're not having to go into the menus and mess around with um with the menu like having to go two or three layers into into the menus so that is absolutely great so spend what is it 750 get 10 off your order there you go so this thing is uh this thing is actually coming in at uh 1800 it's it's awesome you know what's funny is I have the RMC One L, which is one of their top tier processors. I bought it. Um, now they did give me a discount, but it's very much a top tier. Not their top top tier, but RMC One. I have the RMC One L, so I have this one. But it's such a sports car, and it's so difficult to kind of. And I move stuff in and out all of the time, right? So I'm constantly changing out products. I would almost rather have the MR1 than the RMC1L. And I have I have amps that can run this. So I would almost take the MR1 over this one, even though this is like the Ferrari of the Emotiva line. It's so hard. It's I can't say it's so hard. It's harder to use than the MR1. The MR1 just like works better. All right. Alan Bush, $5 with no question. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We got 577 people in here. If you haven't liked uh, this, please, please give us a like. And when I say us, I mean me. Steve Zeitman says super. Whoa, super chats. Whoa. Dan Stein. My brother, Dan. Are you if you're still here, you got to check this out. Um, so I'm a bit of a I'm a bit addicted to, to buying watches. But anyway, this is a limited edition 1963 Seagull with a bronze case, which is absolutely stunning. It's a chronograph, hand windable chronograph. There's only 750, and uh, I think they're maybe sold out already. But I bought it immediately. Dan is one of my patrons. Um, I am proud and humbled to say he's a friend. So is Steve Zeidman. Um, I have many friends uh, in here. Brian Romska is a friend. Um, oh, yeah, Linton's. Let's talk about the Linton. So not only uh, Marfa Dale, Marfa Dale, USA. Here we go. So here's great deals. The Denton 80 is on sale um, down to 500 bucks, which is awesome. One of my favorite desktop speakers and a speaker that will play in larger rooms. But also, you can get uh, free stands with the Linton and the Evo 4.2s. So this is saving, like, I can't remember how much the stands cost, but this is saving a good amount of money. I wish I had to put the link in the description. <sighs> I'll put it in the description afterwards. Dan Stein went old school and bought an Amazon link. I thought you already had an Amazon link. Um, speaking of Amazon links, anyway, uh, if you're like in the, the Linton's one of the, my favorite speakers, um, and you get free stands and records fit perfectly underneath there. 
let's see have we talked about the link yet uh let's go down to amazon basics uh we link here we go so if you are into amazon music if that's kind of your main music streamer of choice then the link is great and you can hook up a subwoofer. If you go into the A-L-E-X-A app, you can actually put a high-pass filter on your speaker. It has a decent DAC in it. it has optical in and optical out. It's $139. Now, I would only recommend this over the Weem Pro if you're just into Amazon Music. Um, if you're not in a, just Amazon music, then, uh, I would get the pro if you use rune, I would get the Amazon pro, but this does have some functionality with the subwoofer out. Uh, that's pretty cool. So if you have Amazon music and there's another thing about Amazon music, if you only have one device that you're going to listen to Amazon music through, you can get a subscription for like $4 a month. If you're a prime member. So it'll get that subscription will get linked to this one device and it's only four bucks. So that's not too shabby for lossless music. This is great. Look at this. I pur I've purchased this three times since 2021. Almost every time there's a prime day, I ended up buying these. All right. So excellent. You can also get one with an amp in it for 210 bucks with the way the V3s are like the Fozzy V3 though. I mean, I would probably, I would personally spend my money on the regular link at 139. And then I would add the uh, V3 and then uh, you're coming in at the same price. Now you do control the, uh, volume on here via your phone unless you you know reach out and touch it but anyway great deal if you're into amazon music this will play apple music i think it'll play title and it'll play deezer but it's really clunky because you have to go through either the app or you have to use voice commands uh, but with amazon music you just pull up the amazon music app on your phone and then this will be an endpoint so you'll stream directly to this and your phone will be uh, fundamentally a, um, a remote control. That makes sense. You're really wild. The Mission 770 is half price for a cool 5K. Uh, if you're really wild. As I said before, if they can sell these things at half off, what is their margin when it is not half off? All right. Um, we have a Marantz receiver, 20% off, $1,600 down to 1279 Uh, I don't think this has DRAC on it, though. But I, I really like Marantz receivers. I think they're one of the better-sounding AVRs when you're not using DRAC. Like, I like my Pioneer a v, VLX VX305. I like it better than the Marantz when I'm using Dirac, but if I'm not using Dirac, then I prefer uh, Marantz receivers. Whew. All right. I'm going to take a coffee drink here. Read further over 1500 is 15% 15 off. Okay. I don't know which one you're, you're talking about, but Emotiva greater than Anthem then. I can't say that for sure, Hope, because I don't have an Anthem in here to compare it to. But I know Anthem's a legit, like, real good brand. Now, Anthem is not a direct... Maybe they are a direct customer. I don't think they are. I think they sell through... Um, I think they sell through, like, Crutchfield and, and retailers. So you have to kind of consider... You may be getting more value by going with Emotiva because it direct, it's a direct-to-customer... Uh, model for how they sell there's no guarantee just because something's direct to customer that they aren't making huge margins and it's a better value but i know the folks over at emotiva so i'm probably biased a little bit 
Um, and I've had the chance to hear the MR one. Um, and I sent it back right away after I did the review and I talked to them and I'm like, why'd you send it back? We wanted you to hang on to it and listen to it for a while. And I'm like, Oh, like that's the one thing that I've sent back that I wish I didn't, but I have the RMC one L and the problem. I, none of the reason I don't use the RMC one L is because the amplifiers like, because that's just a processor. So you need to have an amplifier for, you know, nine channels or 11, whatever, whatever you're going to use. So I sent my XPA Gen 2 in, which is a modular amplifier from Emotiva, and they're adding a bunch more power mod. Anyway, point being is, like, I don't have the room for it in my living room. So, like, one box is better for me in the living room. Sorry. that I don't even know why I went into that. I went on a bird, bird walk on that one. Good gravy. Jeff, cheap audio man, YouTube, a thon. Yes. How long have we been going? Oh, we've already been going an hour and 16 minutes. All right. I need to roll through some of these because I got to get a haircut. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's roll through these. All right. We've done that one. We've done that one. Uh, done the SU9. Uh, here. Yetis. <laughs> I know. Come on. Uh, but seriously, who doesn't need a high quality um, insulated? I use these all the time, these can ones. So, Yeti. I love Yeti. They're good cups. I'm probably going to buy some more of these too. Although, I like the ones with the lids on them. Uh, I don't particularly like these. I like one that has a flip up lid. But these right here like i drink soda all the time and they work so well <laughs> all right uh yeti uh here we go amazon basics banana plugs look at this purchased six times and i'm probably going to purchase it again um whoops the daisies 13 bucks usually 19 these have gone up significantly in price i remember when i first started buying these these were, I think, $12. Uh, so they keep going up in price. Crazy banana plug. Crazy banana plug price increases. Uh, we've already talked about the noise-canceling headphones from Sony, which are also in my cart. Um, I need to be strong and not buy the latest ones. Um, audio technica turntables there are a bunch that are on sale this 120 i think is widely regarded as one of the best budget turntables out there it's a hundred dollars off um, all these links are in the description too and i also have a generic amazon link at the top of the description if you click through that then um, it'll really support the channel so 250 for this, I think, is like a screaming deal. This also has the 95 um, cartridge on it, which sounds great. I've got a turntable in that has the same cartridge. Look at this, 6,943 reviews on a turntable. Um, so, yeah, $248 for a, a LP120 is, is bananas. Uh, the LP60, 155 Again, bananas. You're probably not going to get a better turntable for under 200 bucks than this. But I may actually pull the trigger on this one to basically have it as a um, a reference. All right. So we've banana plugs, noise canceling, uh, Audio Technica turntables. We have, uh, I just did a generic IEM link, but this is the real deal right here. These seven Hertz timeless, which I don't need. The problem is I had these in and I gave them to a friend and I do that. And most of the times when I give stuff away, I don't ever miss it. But when I gave these away, I'm like, eh, I kind of missed these. So, they're and 
they're worth every penny of 220 at 175 i think um if you're curious buy these and then if you don't like them return them because they're spectacular otherwise i have uh just a generic link to iems the ones that i really like if you're on a super budget kz zex pro critical if you're on a budget uh these are awesome no not these these aren't the ones the where are they i don't see them i think they were out of stock that might be a reason why yeah so they're they're naming their model numbers are like so confusing anyway yeah i don't see them let's just try kz clinical So he's like an IEM guy, and they did a uh, collab with him. Yeah, I don't see him. Anyway, never mind. We just wasted a whole bunch of time on that. This is a generic Duke Audio link. And so Duke Audio, like I said, Duke, Aima, and Fozzie are like fighting it out. This is a great deal right here. So this is equivalent to kind of the first generation T9, except it doesn't have the shutdown issues. So $111 is bananas for this one. You can get another $5 off. So this is a great product. I don't think, let's see, what does it have on the back? Anyway, it's crazy. If you... But here's the problem. The T9 Pro is $130, and this is $111. But if you want to save some money, um, this is a great, great, great little integrated amp. Great integrated amp. And this usually goes for around $140, $150. Yeah, $140. So you're saving some good money on this one. But the one that I really love is this right here this is down 27 dollars it's an eq it has balance control volume control for whatever reason and then a headphone amp for whatever reason and tubes for whatever reason even with all the weird stuff going on with it it's still probably the cheapest way to get a what is that one one two three four five five band equalizer with balance controls too so not a bad deal at all i wish they would have one that had no tubes it had no phono or no um headphone connection just a straight um eq and then I wish that this was uh, 1,500 hertz or 2K instead of 1K. So I wish this was shifted up and then the 4K was maybe 5K. But anyway, it's still a great deal for $103. Um, $2. Zachary F., thank you. Fozzy Audio Box X2 Power Supply Upgrade. Now let me check that out. Fozzy Audio Box X2. Are you saying that's a product or you want a power supply upgrade? Fozzy Audio X2 power supply upgrade. I think you're saying like you want a better power supply. I don't know. I think... I think that is, let's see if we can see the back of it. I think I have one. Great. Uh, 
Whoops, I have one somewhere. It's probably on the shelf. I don't know what volt. If it's 12 volts, though, you probably you could probably find something fairly easily. Chris G, $1.99. Thank you so much. 600 people. Oh, that's awesome. You guys are awesome. Critical's are him. Okay. All right. Let's go through this real quick. Um, so the Duke Audio, the ST01, and the EQ, I think, are the deals here. Now, <laughs> this is a little bit outside the channel. This is a crazy deal. This is on an automatic watch. I've had the same watch for eight years. 18 years and this one's actually better for 48 dollars. this is a crazy watch deal 48 dollars. anyway all right what else do i have i've talked about the wharfdales um oh so sony two channel so if you're looking um for something that you want that is affordable and you're a little bit scared by like the chai fi stuff this used to come in at $99. However, the 148 is the new $99 price. So 148 is the new 99. However, this is a very warm sounding integrated amp that sounds very good. It's going to sound good with all types of music and it's a Sony. So you're going to have good service it has a phono preamp other otherwise it's just got um analog inputs so you'd have to add a DAC. so very good old school very affordable two channel integrated amp very good all right i gotta go <laughs> i'm gonna be late for my haircut all right so we got the wharfdale denton $500, highly recommended. And then we have the topping E50, $169. This is usually, so this started off at $250 when it first came out. Then it came down to $200, and now it's $170. So this is a great, uh, great deal too. So I've got to run. I have a generic Amazon link at the top of the description here. So if you click on that and you buy any of these products or buy anything else, it really supports the channel. So I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Most of these are also linked in the description individually. So if you go down to the description, you should be able to find most of these links individually. All right. I love you all so much. We're going to be back here tomorrow going through because a lot of times they have different deals for tomorrow. So we're going to be back here probably about the same time, maybe a little bit later. I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put it up in the uh, ethos about what time we're going to do it. But I appreciate you all and uh, save some money. Have some fun today. Um, and don't worry about if uh, you have to return it. Uh, anyway, have a good time. Love you all. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.